I gotta choose quickly. It's getting dark. Big time. I say another hour or so and it'll be dark completely. Ugh. Oh, that was close. There's another one. Not with all these explosive canisters around. Great. What was that? Alright, well. I don't mind getting me some new mines. Oh, no you don't. Is the next one. Ah, disabled. All right. Any more? I guess not. Well, hello. Pretty badly done, but still, it's such a place where. Whoa! What the hell's going on over there? Looks like a goddamn battle's raging over there. Yeah, there's definitely light there. There's light there too. Whatever is over there, I definitely know I don't want any a part of it. Jesus! What is going on? Oh, get off me! Who's fighting who? Looks like a bunch of robots fighting each other. Jesus, it's like a battle royale over there. The only thing I know for sure is I sure as hell don't want to get in the way of that. It's kind of awesome though. I mean, come on. It's a bunch of robots beating the shit out of each other. That's... Ah, science. Where can I get a better sight? Whoa! Where can I get a better sight without getting drawn into it? I don't... Words... Words fail me. They fail me so, so much. I don't even... What makes these kind of robots? I don't... Wow. <laughs> I wonder what side's gonna win. I'm putting my money on Floaty over here. Come on, Floaty, get him. Not even sure who you're fighting, Floaty, but you get him! Uh-huh. Uh, looks like they're winning against, uh, the other team. I don't know what's going on here, but I can't turn my eyes away. <sighs> I gotta get over 
here. Oh, I think they won. I think they won. Crap, crap, crap. They saw me. Okay, I got too close. Got too close. Got too close. Damn it, Jason. You're an idiot. What? Ow! Ow! Asshole. Yep, well, that's my cue to get out of here. Those things are way too many. Crap. Let's just try and get around them. Crap. Just head towards that light. Just leave them alone. Good lord. It's getting dark. I'm gonna have trouble seeing soon. They're still going at it. Jeez. Okay. Yep. Hello. Hello? What happened? I need to get back to Diamond City one of these days. Biggest town I ever saw. Lady, I asked you what happened here. Jesus, looks like a damn war zone. You okay? You know what I call a good day? One that ends without an empty stomach. Got a dangerous look about you. Hope you ain't here for me. Lady, from what I see, looks like you're the ones that have dangers. I mean, Jesus. Not a bad piece of work, taking out four raiders by yourselves. Oh, well, if you're all right. Oh, more power to you, I guess. Well done. Fuck. Do you know of a settlement around here anywhere? Up there? Alright, thanks. God damn it. So I was right. That is a settlement. Get me out of the rain. I'm gonna have to risk the light. Oh. Wait. That's super mutant stuff there. So I have to go around. Do I go through? Ah, I go through. Get out of the light, get out of the light, get out of the light. God damn it. Super mutants. Alright. No noise. Just stay here, just stay here. Let him pass. Just let him pass. You don't want him learning his friends. You come closer. Don't you do it. Turn around. Go. <laughs> Crap. Crap! Holy fuck, what was that? Ah. Shit, shit, 
shit, shit. Ah. Where's that? Where's that settlement? Damn it, I can't see anything in this rain. Oh crap, he's got a Cover my trail. Where's that fat boy? Damn it. Screw it, just run. Where's that damn settlement? There. All right. Okay. Hello? Friendly. Just looking for a place to stay. Neither. I'm here on my own. Freelance, huh? All right. Come on in, but no gunfire. Market's open. You can do as much trading as you like. Oh, thank you. There's super mutants down the road that... Alright, well, fuck you too. Damn. Just trying to let you know. Okay. A little bit of civilization. Oh, let's get out of the rain. She didn't tell me where the market was. Hey. What's up? What a day, huh? I guess. Do you know where the markets are? Sure love trading here. For trade stuff. Trading here for... Trade stuff. Really. Alright. Wacko. Oh. Ah. God damn it. It's like the whole world just decided to piss. Hello? Only lost two men on the last one. Load a little heavy there? I'll buy anything you don't need and sell everything you do. This your store? Uh, yep, yeah, you got it. Caravans come through here. I buy whatever they don't want, fix it up, and sell the good stuff to the next caravan. But hey. No reason I can't sell to a drifter like you. Caps are caps. I like your opinion on it. So, uh, tell me about this place. Well, it's nice enough. Grew up with the caravan, so I feel right at home here. Don't like how we have to pay Raiders protection money, but that's the cost of doing business in the middle of everywhere. Speaking of which, I got a lot of useful supplies here that need a home. Look at him. So lonely. Alright, alright. I get it. I'll buy it. I'm just trying to get the lay of the land. So you got some raiders giving you protection, huh? Uh, I understand. It's better than them blowing everyone's brains out. Protection money is needed sometimes. Yep. Surprise me, Kessla managed to pull that off, but she's convincing that Bunker Hill is worth more alive than dead. I hate that we don't stand up to them, but what can we do? We're caravan folk, not an army. You can survive. So, uh, you know by chance know of any paying work around here, do you? Ah, uh, you know what? Business first, right? Business first. What do you got? See something you like, buy it. My stock moves fast. Okay. Well, I can sell all this stuff. Mm, don't need those. Actually, I should be concentrating on things that are weight. Like these. Uh, okay. Let's 
Jeez, I got a lot of stuff here. I'll worry about that later. What else we got? Uh, hey, I can sell you the rat X. The rat away. Well, I'll keep the rat away. I'll need a little bit of it. You want some jet? I have no use for it. Um, good buff out too. It's all yours. I also got some nice stuff here. A couple cigars, cigarettes, flip lighters alike. Military circuit board. Do I really need that right now? I'll hang on to it for now. Let's see what she's got to sell. Wasteland friend, huh? Not bad. Expensive. But not bad. Not really what I'm looking for, though. Hello. Well, that's basically what I've already got. <sighs> huh. More of a leather guy myself. Medex, huh? Whoa, you've got Grognak? Oh, yes, they just got awesome. Oh man, I love me some Grognak. Oh yeah, used to read it when I was a kid. What else we got here? Oh, nothing there I really need. It doesn't look like there's anything there I really need either. Damn, well, I gotta buy something. Or not sell everything to her. Yeah, I'll just take some of my stuff back, I guess. There. That's good. Alright. Yeah, I'll uh, take this. Thanks. So, uh... Hey again, step right up. A little bit of everything from all over. Uh, any, uh, you heard any pain work around here? Yeah, I have something. It ain't easy, though. Caravan is just love swapping tall tales. But I've heard one story enough times, there's gotta be some truth to it. Apparently, the northern road goes straight through an old military training yard that's just crawling with a horde of feral ghouls. And that's cutting into my bottom line. So, you take care of that, and maybe I can throw a few caps your way. Feral gruels happen to be my specialty. You may have noticed, but we have something in common. But, military facilities aren't easy, and I am not going to do that for chump change. I'm tired of mercs blowing this off. Are ferals really that scary? Fine. Call it 175 caps. Hmm, I think I can squeeze a little bit more out of her. Lady, let me break it down to you straight. Feral girls scare the crap out of everyone because they eat your brains. They don't kill you with a gun, no, they get in close and personal, rip your face off. Now me? I don't mind so much. My face already is ugly as hell. But, I'm probably the last mercenary you'll see in a long time that'll do this job. Clearing that road benefits everyone. I can probably get Kessler to chip in, let's say, 225 caps? Hmm, probably shouldn't push things too far. Want to generate some goodwill here. Alright. How many ghouls are we talking about? Who knows? The number keeps growing the more drinks the caravan hands down at the way station. No matter how many of them there are, they're scaring away caravans and customers alike. Alright. I'll take care of your feral problem. Great. If you want to stock up first, you never know when one of my knickknacks will keep you alive. You there. 
We need to have a conversation. All right. You've got my attention. I'm always looking for people who know how to handle themselves in dangerous situations. From what I hear, you may fit the bill. And, uh... Well, hell, I don't mind a little bit of danger, as long as there's caps involved. You will be well paid. I can promise you that. By the way, I'm Edward Deegan. You'll mostly be working for me, but you'll need to talk to my boss first. His name is Jack Cabot. He likes to personally interview everyone I hire. He's careful like that. Come down to Cabot House in Beacon Hill and ask to talk to Jack. I'll let him know you're coming. All right, I've got some stuff to take care of first, but I'll be sure to stop by. All right. Picking up work all over the place. Nice. Excuse me, Brad. Hi, I'm Meg. You mean you did the hill? For ten caps, I can give you the tour. Nobody knows a place like me. <laughs> Sorry, kid. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should generate some goodwill. And I did just pick up a few jobs. Alright. Sure, kid. I'll take the tour. Up front. Thank you. The market's in the back, bar's in the corner, and the outhouse is over the wall. Bye. Why, you little... <laughs> I'll be honest, I gotta admire a spirit like that. She might be something when she grows up. I guess all the other shops are closed down. I don't know. People gotta do something, Dad. Hey, you. Talk some sense into my numbskull son. Getting involved with the railroad is just trouble. The railroad? What's the railroad? The Freedom Fighters willing to risk their lives for sins. And that means they fight the Institute. Only ones that do. What? You think that's noble or some bullshit? That just makes them idiots. No son of mine is going to throw his life away with those lunatics. What? What the hell's a synth? Synthetic people made by the Institute look so human you can't tell them from us. They're monsters is what they really are. And how do you know that? Have you ever met one? If you can't tell who's a synth or not, they can't be all that bad. Are you, are you shitting me? Look, um, this obviously is a discussion between you two. I really don't want to get involved. We got a good life here, and you throw it all away. All I do here is help crusty old caravan hands. No offense. Go blind off rot gun. At least the railroad's fighting the Institute. And why not save sins? Might as well go off and join the Death Claw Preservation Society. Right. Right. Well, um... Look, do you have a, you know, a room or anything? No? Maybe? Well... I don't really know anything about these synths. I mean, they're just robots, right? <sighs> robots are just designed to work. Look, I hate slavery more than the next guy, but... <sighs> Whatever. So what did... What did this institute do to you? Ah, oh, Gary. He is... Well, was... One of Cricket's hired guns. He hits the road, and comes back to find his wife missing. Yeah, so the institute kidnaps me. I'm not saying I like it. But the world's a dangerous place. It's not your job to save it. And dealing with the railroad, the Institute. Might as well put a bullet in your own damned skull. It'll just save you time. Alright, look. Can I get some service here or what? Where are my manners? If you want a drink, talk to me. Need a bed? Well, hit up Numbskull over there. I think I need a little bit of both, actually. Bar's open. Just don't get so drunk you shoot up the place. 
You got any paying work around here? Well, there is one thing. Dad, you're not gonna send him on that same wild goose chase. Hey, he brought it up, not me. As I was saying, before us of all these started slinging rot gut for thirsty caravan hands, we came from a line of Minutemen. My grandpa, Brent Savaldi, was the last. He died fighting raiders just outside Malden. If you could find any of his personal effects, well, they didn't mean the world to me. Well, you're talking to the right man. Scavenger is a special ability of mine. I've been doing it for a long time. But that kind of skill doesn't come cheap, if you know what I mean. Malden ain't the safest of places. I suppose I could spare 200 caps. Any idea where you may have fallen? Somewhere northeast of Malden. That's where they found the bodies of the rest of the squad. The raiders tore them apart, mutilated the bodies. Once, the Minutemen held their own against the Institute. But in the end, even raiders were too much for them. All right. I'll find your grandpa. Don't worry. Just be careful, all right? I don't want any more deaths on my conscience. Yeah, yeah. How about that drink? Don't be shy. You don't order fast. We won't have much booze left. You got the caps. I got the booze. Let's see here. I could sell this bunch of stuff to him, too. Oh, boy. That. All that pre-war money. Scalpel, civil knife, spring. I don't need steel right now. Actually, I might need that steel. Do some modifications. Synth components. I want to keep those. I want to study those. Uh, I need to drop some of this junk. I need to get to our weapons bench first. Alright. Let's sell some of this ammo. There. That should be fine. Uh, what do you got to sell? Let's see here. Hmm. I'll take a... Ah, oh, hell, I'll take a whiskey. Have a nice food and a nice drink. All right. God, I gotta get rid of some of the stuff. Can't afford to carry all this. Well, I'm a mac and beer and a whiskey. Pardon me. So I'm looking for a bed. Fine place to sleep right here. Reasonable rate. Yeah, some kind of motel. I prefer the term flop house, but don't tell my pa that. Gets him mad. When caravans pull into town, they need a place to sleep. So we ran out all the beds we can. So did you want one? Yeah, I'll take one. Thank you. Sleep lightly. The raiders don't always play by the rules. Oh, great. Alright, well, where's my room? Hey. Fine place to sleep right here. Reasonable rate. Yeah, where's my room? Fine. How many caravans go through here? All of them. They kind of own the whole town, but money still has to change hands, so they know which caravan owes what. 
Bunker Hill is one big money makes the world go round kind of place. Raider problem? Pay him off. Supply problem? Buy more. Charge more. Hey, weren't we talking about you renting a room? You need one? Yeah, yeah, I need one. Stockton snores. You've been warned. <sighs> Alright, let's just settle in for the night. Is there a door? No, of course not. Alright. Well, get some sleep. Maybe there'll be more traders in the morning. Because the roof is pretty solid. More or less. 